Uh, welcome uh, to a new tutorial uh, from Beatbox. Today we're going to focus on Webflow and how to build the navbar that is also responsive uh, in mobile desktop or in desktop or uh, in tablet. So the way to build uh, navbar it's straightforward here in Webflow. If you press here the, the plus mo uh, button, you have this is a page that I'm working on. This is the, the, the copy that I can make you the, the navbar. So here you have a navbar and you will press it and you can put it right away. You actually can normally I do like this. And here you go, you have the navbar. And if you see it already, this is the different type of displays. So this is for desktop. These are for bigger des desktop, I'm not gonna focus on that. And here you already go that it's already uh, resized to show up different in mobile and desktop. Uh, that is come straight away. You don't really need to do nothing. It just comes like that. So first, what you, you can do with that, you can go here and you can, this is show and hide. So what that means, it's this, the, the, the mobile part, how you can uh, configure it. Now it's hidden. If you show hide, if you sh uh, um, sorry, if you press show, it goes right away. And then here you can uh, change the color, or um, for example, you can if you see here you have already the color. You can see how it is. Actually, I was sorry because I was choosing this part. That if you choose the nav menu, yeah. And now you have it where it is backgrounds and you can choose a different color. So let's try to, or it doesn't really matter, but you can change the color and then uh, you can also change the color of your navbar. Um, and this, as you can see, it automatically updates the default tablet. So if I put what it is background background here okay and also goes can change and then if you go here it's different because it, you have it on desktop only I, I go back not to have uh, effects on this one so nav bar show let's go here okay, let's still go back to the all oh, these colors okay here we go and let's go back to desktop and to the settings again for you to see. So now you know, show height when you want to configure that. Uh, you can put it if it's drop down, it's over right, over left, also pretty easy. How it is the opening and the close and the duration. And then here it's uh, really important because sometimes you want that uh, in the tablet, it still shows up like this. So you just drag this to show that it's only for mobile and now as you can see you have desktop you have tablet and in mobile you go but you you decided you you can put it whatever you want uh, normally i will i work like this so desktop it's with all the icons and uh, in the, in the tablet uh, there's this uh, hamburger what you can make more so then you can add links, for example, if you go here, brand, so for example, brand, you, you want to put an, an image and let's go, I always forgot where are the things. So let's put, for example, this one, the brand, and now it seems a little bit too big, but don't worry, you can, zoom in and zoom out and change as much as you want uh, I'm not a, I'm not gonna focus today in the in the flex so I'll how to use uh, the uh, here but it you really don't need in in a way uh, now they are pretty standard like okay now it's here it's better for you to see you can make it as big and small uh, if you see that this is a little bit uh, on top, you also can put a little bit 
padding and it goes up on or down it's a little bit uh, what 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 you want here are the links so you can basically make control c and control v and create an, uh, another link and you can uh, maybe i explain this after um but if you press here okay then you can go so where it, where it goes you go for a different page home for example this one you go here and you change i never see this i find it sometimes show all settings open and let's go for about yes Okay, and what more pages I can put these articles? So, articles, there you go, and then you just also add the link and articles. Um, and then, of course, you, you can that this you might know that. So, if you are having here this selected, the navbar you can change the, the color of all, all the navbar. Let's just change it and as you also might know if you're changing here or is this star it means that you are changing all over the um, the, the the sizes of the of all the breakpoints so in all of them but then if you want to change in another one so i'm gonna change it here and here i want that it's green and now here is red and here is green and all the others below this breakpoint so you really can uh, add a different one and for a different size. And other point is how you reuse that navbar. So if I go now to a different page, let's go about, I don't have this, uh, I don't have uh, the, the navbar or also in the articles. So how to add this? First, you can go here to the, to the home page where we have it press navbar and then you hear it is create component so you create component and you write the name navbar you can write whatever you want and here it is and now it's if you want to add it to an uh, other page you go to the let's go to the about page go to the components navbar for some reason it goes down normally i do like this it's i understand it better okay and now you have it in the home and also in the about uh one thing that i need to now change color because now it's the component so if you change the component here and this is the text that you need to change if you want to change the text i was having um some problems to understand that part because what i was doing it was changing this and let's see, if it, let's see uh one i write here one and if I go now to the home, okay, it's also one. Yes. Okay. What about here? Uh, if I put about, if I go to the other one, it's also about. Yeah. But the best way also is to change uh, the name here. Okay. You can change about. And also, it changes on the home page. Um, what I was going to say, it's show all settings, edit component, link, connect to, pre, uh, to uh, property. It's a page, you can connect, connect it to many things. What is the page opens in new tab or uh, in, in this tab. And yeah, so basically that's it. Um, don't mind about the, um, the color but that's it and you have it already uh, completely formatted to be looking good in websites in, in mobile desktop or tablet um, it's pretty easy I was going to add how to change the icon 
it's topography. So this is it. Uh, this is how you can create uh, a navbar easily with Webflow. That you can put it. Uh, that it looks good on desktop, mobile, or uh, tablet. With a few few um, touches, you can make it right away. Uh, straight, straight away that it looks good. And how. If you like it, I am going to start sharing more videos about Webflow, also Notion and Card, one every week. So if you want to hear more, you can always subscribe in this channel or also uh, join the newsletter uh, that is on the link uh, in the video. Thank you. Bye.